supply voltage on the uh, yellow meter. On the blue, on the black one, it's got the um, just the bias current. It's not linear. It's um, bias for class C at the minute. 0.2 amps, 50 odd volt. And the thing with a very crude bias circuit. You see the input attenuator that I've added on today. Being careful to note that the thing's on. And the input attenuator there is on. And and I rebuilt the whole of the Ballon bit, the whole of this bit here, with, with all the all the new ATC capacitors. And it's going into a third through line here, um, with a wire over it, which I won't move, but it's got a kilowatt insert, 1000 watts, 10 to 250 meg, if it focused in a, a big dummy load on the floor, or a big bird dummy load, off decent coax around the place, so, um, right, move that out of the way. I've um, already tested it, make sure it hasn't exploded, so fairly confident it's going to work. The radio is putting 817, it's flashing to tell me it's doing the full grunt, which should be 5 watt, but I've just put it into the to the test set. It's just doing just over 5, so let's quickly pop that in there, double check. Need an extra hand. Okay, so let's just pop that on the test set. It's on FM. That's all class C as Dad's saying, you can see it's complaining the battery's flat. And if we look on the test set there, it's uh, 3.4 watts. Okay, so we'll drop that out. Okay. Get rid of the test set and put the uh, thin bit of RG58 back into the um, front of the thing, into the attenuator. Right. Okay, and then if we transmit. Look at the 817, you should be able to see the current fly up, 10.8 amp, the voltage a bit wobbly, I think it's RF getting into the meter, so the circuit not smoking, you see the amp, just no arcing and sparking, <laughs> and they're just under 200 watt, so it's just over 100, 120, 140 watt by the look of it, something like that, which is more power than I've had it doing before. Tomorrow's another day and I think I'm going to progress with it. Yeah. Problem is that the 817's limiting it. So if we drop that out now. So warmed up a bit and the bias has crept up. Transistor's off of cold but uh, you know, still um, being careful. There's 50 volt on there which is gives you a poke if you forget about it on occasional tingly fingers. <laughs> and, all right, and here's the, the book that it's based on. Uh, F1 JRD's design. Oop. This is why I'm not going any further tonight. <laughs> I'm running out of hands and space. More than mostly space. Let's find the right page. Okay, so a, here's a class class C setup. So we're about 300 watt. Uh, sorry, three watts in, three and a half watts in. And you can see that's between 79 and 271 watt out. We get about 140. And we're much closer to the 0.3 than we are the 0.5. So there we go. Fairly confident that's uh, going to work. <laughs> the rest of the bits in the box there. <laughs> and uh, a job for another day. Cheers from the shack of M1 GEO and GLOCV.